from Hollywood, the television capital of the world, it's time to go reeling through the greatest television shows of all time on Couch Potato! Hi there, I'm Joe Alasky, and hey gang, what time is it? It's time to meet my next door neighbor and favorite host, Mark Summers! Nice to see you. Thank you. Welcome to Couch Potatoes, the game focusing on the best of television, both past and present. You never know, I'm telling you, you never know what show might pop up on our TV sets. But before we look back there, let's look over here to our contestants. Say hello to a team that calls themselves the Brady Bunch. Hi, guys. I'd like you to meet Axel, Michael, and David. Now, Axel, I looked at you immediately when I came up and I said, Alex, no, I'm dyslexic, no, it's Axel. And Axel is what kind of name? Axel is Swedish. It's actually also Danish and German, but in my case, it was my grandfather's name and it's Swedish. I like that name. All right. And uh, wasn't on, uh, on uh, Eddie Mur Yeah, Axel Foley. Axel Foley. That's right. No points for that yet. Oh. Okay. <laughs> all right. How'd you guys get together? This one's mine, I guess. Well, we all work together in Orange County, and uh, since I'm 6'5 and David's 4'3, we were working together on something, and we realized we'd really share the shelf space in an apartment real well. <laughs> so we moved in together. Then after we lived together for a little while, we found out that all the middle shelves were staying empty. So we got Mike to fill we got in Mike. those. All right, sounds good. Pretty Bunch is here. And we have a team over here. They won a lot of money, about $7,350. The Bosom Buds. <laughs> Tell it to Anthony. Hello. Anita and Kevin. Now, the last two games, you folks have come from behind me. You sit here with no points, and then all of a sudden you, you take the lead. You going to do that again today? We like I to hope so. What do you think, Brady Bunch? Oh, we're going to have to do something about that. They're going to try and stop it. All right, let's talk about the rules here in case you've never seen this show, and I find that hard to believe. We're going to ask you anything and everything about television from daytime, prime time, even commercial time, and anytime there's something on the tube, Couch potatoes are there. Each round begins with a tune-in question, and the team that answers correctly earns 25 rating points in control for the spin-off questions that follow. Whichever team has the most rating points at the end of the game will win $1,000 and go on to play our Channel Roulette bonus game for $5,000. Let's get started. Here's the tune-in question for round number one. Everybody plays Munster, Romano, and Parmesan. Which of these cheesy names belongs to a red-headed mom who takes, yes, Anita, Romano. and Romano. That's right, on one day at a time. And you've earned control for this round. Spin-off questions on the subject of TV moms. Aw, yes, TV moms are real special. And look at that. <laughs> Little spudlets right over there. Right over there. <laughs> That's cute. Okay, you're all eligible over here. And here is your first 25-point question. This TV mom left no stone unturned when dealing with her children, Mary and Jeff. Her husband, Alex, was a doctor. Name the show. It's worth 25, or you... Oh, time runs out. Yes. Yeah, it's Michael. Donna Reed. Donna Reed show, yeah. yes. 25 rating points. We have a tie game. And you folks have control, so David, Axel, this question is for you. Her maiden name on this long-running series was McGillicuddy. When she had her baby, more viewers tuned in than on any other sitcom since. Name the series. David. I love Lucy. Oh, 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 oh. Lucy, Lucy, oh, that's right. You have 50 rating points, and uh, that means, Axel, it is up to you to, yes, to score on this next one. If Darlene and DJ Connor were to call their wisecracking mom by her first name, she'd probably insult them. What is it? Quickly before time runs out, it ran out. Can you take it over here, Anita? Roseanne. Roseanne. Roseanne Barr. Another 25 rating points added over here. And folks, what do we have? We have a tie score. That means we're going to start off round two with another tune-in question. Everybody is eligible. Margaret, Lucy, and Beulah. What was the name of the abrasive little redhead who lived down the street from Dennis the Menace? Yes, Michael. Margaret. Yes, that's right. Margaret is the person. And you answer that correctly. We're going to add another 25. And now we're going to talk about... Dennis the Menace. Okay, here is our first question about Dennis the Menace. Oh, uh, somebody's at the door. Excuse me, come in, come in. Who could possibly be here? Oh, hi there. Hi, I'm Jay North, Dennis the Menace. All Jay grown North, up. all grown up, ladies and gentlemen. There he is, Jay North. How are you doing? Oh, my goodness. 
Well, you've certainly grown up a lot since we saw you last. Well, yeah, I have. Well, that's great. Okay, we're going to do some questions, and uh, let's see, who has control on this one? You. F Excuse me, we have somebody else at the door. Come in. Hi there, who are you, sir? Hi, I'm Jay North, Dennis the Menace, all grown up. Jay North, ladies and gentlemen, Dennis the Menace, all grown up. Somehow I don't think there can be two Dennis the Menai, uh, <laughs> all grown up. Uh, there's a problem here. Uh, let me see what I can do. Who do you think might be at the door here, guys? Jay North, all grown up. Let's see if that's the case. Come on in here. Yes, this man uh, must be... Uh, who are you, sir? Hi, I'm Jay North, Dennis yeah. the Menace, all grown up. Oh, my goodness. Well, uh, this is a problem. We have uh, Dennis the Menace uh, times three here. Uh, <laughs> now, your job is to tell me who the real Jay North is, and if you can do that, you will get 25 rating points. So buzz in any time you think you know. Yes, Axel. Number three. Are you uh, Jay North? Yes, I am. Yes, that is right. <laughs> Let's say goodbye to our imposters. Thank you, gentlemen, and say hello to Jay North. Dennis the Menace, all grown up. I didn't think they recognized me by clock belly. You really, uh, you're still wearing these things, huh? Yeah, still wearing the overalls minus the slingshot. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Look a little like Mr. Green Jeans in this <laughs> thing. Now. <laughs> Farmer Fudroy. Now, we have, a two, uh, we have a two more questions. All of a sudden, I become Italian. We have two more questions here, and Michael and David are eligible, so why don't you ask them one based on Dennis the Menace? I'd love to, Mark. Okay, my next-door neighbor may have seemed crotchety, and that's because he really was. <laughs> Who is he? Michael is pushing, and uh, nothing's happening, so we're going to take your uh, question, Michael, your Mr. answer. Mr. Wilson. Mr. Wilson is the answer. You were pushing in there, but the light didn't go on. Now, Joseph Kearns played him first, right? Right. And Joseph then... Kearns was the first Mr. Wilson, and then he passed away, and then Gail Gordon came in to replace him, but as the brother. As the brother. As the brother, not the original Mr. Wilson. All right. Well, David, it is up to you, our final question in this round, based on Dennis the Menace. Okay, there was a kid that I used to pal around with who grew up to be an Amway salesman. <laughs> but back then we were buds. What was his name? David. Tommy. Is that correct? Correct. Correct, all right. Add another 25 rating points. Nice job, David. And we find out now that the Brady Bunch has 150 points, 50 over here for bosom buds, but they do this all the time. They always come from behind. Now, I've heard a lot of stories. I remember hearing that you were a hairdresser and, and yes, uh, a dress designer. A dress and designer, all sorts of things. What uh, are you really uh, doing now? Well, actually, right now, I'm in the process of writing a screenplay about six guys who broke out of death row in 1984 in Mecklenburg, Virginia. Really? It's the largest death row escape in U.S. history, and I went back and met some of the guys. So, very interesting. And uh, I'm in the process of writing a screenplay, and... Uh, Doing a lot of nostalgia talk shows with a lot of people who were in shows that were very popular in the late 50s and early 60s. So, uh, you know, Butch Patrick from him, uh, The Munsters. Oh, he was and, here, uh, absolutely. Now, they're always Bill Gray from Father Knows Best. I see these people all the time. Oh, yeah. I, I grew up with these people, so. Well, they always do these reunion shows. Have they talked to you folks about doing that? They talked about redoing, doing a reunion show with, with our cast, but Hank Ketchum said no to the idea because he felt that to have a grown-up Dennis the Menace would hurt the integrity of his comic strip. And in his mind, and I guess in the minds of millions of Americans, Dennis the Menace is supposed to be a little boy forever. Well, you'll always be Dennis the Menace to us. Jay North, ladies and gentlemen. And we're going to come back right after this. The point values will double, and we have lots more talk to data, so come back and join us. Thanks a lot. Say, did you know there was a real Dennis the Menace? That's right. Cartoonist Hank Ketchum got the inspiration for that character from his wife, who said one day after a particularly trying time with their kid, our son Dennis is a menace, which made Hank Ketchum and generations of comic strip readers and TV viewers very, very happy. Dennis the Menace. Good thing they didn't name him Mitch. We'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back to Couch Potatoes. You know, the fun part about doing the show is meeting all those people that you grew up with watching on television. When you're watching them as a kid, you never think you're going to get to meet them. So I hope you enjoy it at home as much as we enjoy meeting these people here in person. And we're ready to play round number three, where we double the stakes to 50 rating points for each correct answer. And you're a little bit behind, but that's not new news to you folks. And we have tune-in questions for both teams. Mel Cooley, Mel Harris, and Mel Brooks. Which of these Mel's is filled with hope that her 30-something series is a big hit. Mel Harris. Yes, Mel Harris is the answer. And you've done it again. You've added 50 points, and you're in control for this spin-off round on the subject of 
30-something. And Kevin, Anita, Anthony, you're all eligible. While Melissa's biological time clock is ticking away, she earns her living clicking away in what profession? Yes. Secretary. No, that's incorrect. Can you take it over here? Would give the lead. Yes, Axel. Accounting. No, it was photography. That is the answer. We are not going to give any points that time around. You're out of it this time, but Anthony and Kevin are still eligible. Before Timothy Busfield became 30-something, he had a whole other career as a San Francisco doctor. In fact, he worked with his dad, Dr. McIntyre, on what series? Yes, can you take it over here? David. Trapper John, M.D. Yes, Trapper John, M.D. Nice job. We are going to add 50 rating points, and you folks have stolen control. And, Michael, you have an opportunity to answer this question. Ethan and Brittany are Elliot and Nancy's kids. No doubt, by the time they're 10-something, their best friend will be the Stedman's little girl. What's the name of Hope and Michael's daughter? Yes, Michael. Sarah. Sarah is incorrect. Can you take it over here, Bosom Buds? Anthony. Stephanie. No, it is Janie. Janie is the answer. 200 rating points for the Brady Bunch. 100 over here. We're going for our fourth round. Here's your tune-in question. Everybody plays. Super Chicken, Mighty Mouse, and Mighty Joe Young. Which one of these battles oil can Harry? Yes, Axel. Mighty Mouse. Here I come to save the day. That's right. That means that Mighty Mouse. And you've earned control for this round spin-off question on the subject of superheroes. <laughs> Gosh, potato there. Da, 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 I love that. All right, 50 rating points. David, Michael, Axel, can you do it? Colonel Steve Austin was a government cyborg with an incredible eye for legs. How much was he worth to the Office of Scientific Information? Yes, Michael? Six million dollars. He was the six million dollar man. Building yourselves a good lead over here, gentlemen, and David Axel, you can answer this. Separately, Batman and Robin were known as the Cape Crusader and the Boy Wonder. Together, they exploded onto crime scenes known as what duo? Axel. The dynamic duo. They were the dynamic duo. Another 50 rating points added over there, and you have a 250-point lead. David comes down to you one more time. When Wonder Woman took off her cape, her belt and bracelets, and slipped into sensible clothes and glasses, what regal person did she become? I ran out. Can you take it over here, Bosom Buds? Anita. Diana Lane. Oh, it was Diana Prince. Oh, Diana so Prince. darn close. Oh, no points awarded that time around. We find out the Brady Bunch have 350 rating points. 100 over here for the Bosom Buds. We're going to come back. We're going to play the count up round where the score can change in a real hurry. Will they come from behind again? We'll find out together right after this. Join us. All right now, Superman, don't come no closer. You know what's in this box here, don't you? That's right, kryptonite. Yeah, and me and Brocco and Vigran kidnapped your little friends there, Perry and Jimmy and Miss Lane. Oh, no, you don't. Stay back, I warned you. Now you're gonna get it. Try this on for size, Man of Steel. Ha! Oh. Hey, you blew it shut with your super breath, huh? Ow, ow, ow. And now you're welding it shut with your heat vision, ain't you? Ow. Hey, you know, Superman, if you put glasses on, you'd look just like that nosy reporter, Kent. <laughs> oh, and now I don't remember a thing. But we'll be right back. Catch me, Superman. No? <laughs> situation here on Couch Potatoes. The bosom buds are behind and it's time to play the couch up round and you're going to be facing off in a series of questions on as the TV spins. One member of each team will compete head to head on every question and the value of each question is determined by the randomizer right over there which is control when you hit your buzzer. There are values ranging from 50 to 200 points as well as a couch up. Hit the couch up and the team which is behind can tie the score with a correct answer. You each get two chances to play, and the team with the most points at the end of play will be today's champions. I'm going to remind you that the subject is, as the TV spins, I'll give you the name of a popular spin-off series. You give me the original show it came from. Anthony, you're up against Axel. Good luck. Knott's Landing. 200 rating points. Dallas. Anthony. Dallas is right. There they go again. 50 points away from the lead. Anita, can you do it? You're up against Michael. Benson. For 100 rating points, Anita. 
Can you take it, Michael? Soap. Soap is the answer for 100 rating points. Nice job. 450 for the Brady Bunch, 300 for the Bosom Buds. It's David against Kevin. Trapper John, MD. For 200 rating points, David. Mash. Mash is the answer. You now have 650. 300 over here for the Bosom Buds. Anthony, you're up against Axel one more time. Empty Nest. For 100 rating points, Axel. Golden Girls. The Golden Girls is the answer. Really building on your lead now. Michael, you are up against Anita. Laverne and Shirley. For 200 rating points, Anita. Can you take it, Michael? Happy Days. Happy Days is the answer. You now have 950 rating points. Kevin, they have a 650-point lead. You must get the couch up and answer correctly. Otherwise, they will win today's game of couch potatoes. Good luck to both teams. Gomer Pyle. For 100 rating points, you have already won the game. 950 rating points is what you have. Congratulations to the Brady Bunch. 950 rating points converts to $1,000 for the win. That's what you get when you win here on Couch Potatoes. An opportunity at our Channel Roulette bonus game for $5,000. We'll talk about that in a second. We have to say goodbye to some great champions with $7,350. The Bush and Bugs have to say goodbye. You know why? You didn't get enough rating points. And what happens? We're canceled. canceled. You are canceled. Great cancellation gifts backstage. Thanks for being with us today on Couch Potatoes. And you stay where you are, because in a moment, we're going to come back to play that General Roulette bonus game. See if they can win $5,000. Come back in a moment. There you go, Anthony. Say, are you a couch potato like the Bosom Buds and the Brady Bunch? Well, if you'd like to be a contestant on Couch Potatoes, all you have to do is call area code 213-960-2444. That's 213-960-2444. And you can be a Couch Potatoes contestant. Isn't that great? Oh, I thought you'd love that. back with our uh, new champions, the Brady Bunch, and it's time to play the $5,000 Channel Roulette bonus game, and here's how it works. Behind each of the channel numbers from 2 to 13 is a picture from a famous television show of the past or present. One at a time, you'll call out a number, and without help from your couchmates, you're going to have to identify each show as it is revealed. Each show has a point value ranging from 100 to 1,000. If you can accumulate 1,000 points or more within 30 seconds, I get to give you $5,000. However, there is one dangerous channel up there, and that is Arts and Entertainment. No, no, that's pay TV, and if you select that channel and you lose all the points, uh, you've earned up to that uh, point right there in the game. But as long as there's time on the clock, you still have the chance to earn those 1,000 points. We're going to begin with Axel today. What channel do you want to start with? I believe it was 11. Number 11 is where you're going to begin, and your 30 seconds starts when the picture behind the number is revealed. Good luck. Go. Apple's way. For $1,000, you get it on the first one. Way to go. Unbelievable. That is the first time that has happened on our show. Whoa. I can't believe that. Now, when we went to the commercial break, I was sitting here talking, and I was saying, you, know, you guys really seem to know TV. And you were saying, yeah, this. And I'm looking at this card, and I'm saying, there is no way. Now, the 1,001 is usually more difficult because, you know, maybe it hasn't been on as long, or maybe it's been off for a long time. Apple's Way, do you remember any of the people on that? What was the show about? Uh, all I remember is sort of a Midwestern rural family. Ronnie Cox was the father. That's amazing. That's about it. You'll never forget that channel. What do you say, Dave? Never. Vincent Van Patten was on there. Vincent Van Patten was on it. And do you remember anything? Donna Reed. I don't know. <laughs> no, it wasn't Donna Reed. Your grand total for the day, though, is $6,000. Oh, is that terrific. And you know what else that means? That means you can come back here tomorrow, maybe win another thousand, another five thousand. You may have to work a little harder tomorrow, but no more time today. And that means that tomorrow you can join us as we go reeling again to the greatest television shows of all time, right here on Couch Potatoes. Hope to see you then. Thanks. Bye bye. Whoa! I can't. I look. For Some of our contestants and studio audience will receive Daisy Turbo Spa. Turns your bath into a luxurious, stress-relieving retreat. Full power, full feature. Get into a Turbo Spa today. Zeppelin Sportswear. It's an attitude. 
high fashion, easy budget formula for great dressing for today's contemporary men, furnished by Zeppelin. The Salad Shooter Electric Slicer Shredder from Presto makes great salads, pizza, tacos, and more. Fast and easy. Johnny Cat Premium Cat Litter. Johnny Cat and a little privacy is all any cat needs. Everything else is just cat box filling. Would you like to be queen for a day? No. Would you like to be a member of the Couch Potato Studio audience? Well, it's very simple. All you have to do is send your name and address on a postcard to Couch Potatoes Tickets, P.O. Box 7800, North Hollywood, California, 91608. Tonight at 6, Magnum dives into mysterious ocean waters to find clues to the disappearance of a marine biologist. It's a dangerous brush with Dead Man's Channel on Magnum. But first, Michael and Kent get on-the-job karate training when they're forced into a fight with ninja warriors on Knight Rider, next on Channel 5.